Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Allen Company. It is Tuesday, September 17th. I'm going to go over the markets. Uh, old saying is that you have to continuously feed the bull uh, to keep these markets running, and we kind of ran out of some news today. So there is no new news. Extended forecast for me remains warm for the most part, and that's going to help finish out this crop. We did get another private sale to China for soybeans, but once again, it was very small, and so we'd like to see some bigger ones here, and really no sort of news on the biofuel waivers or anything on Japan. There were some hints this morning that President Trump felt like a deal would be done with the, with Japan in the next coming weeks, but really no details out of that. And so with that, getting a little pullback at some resistance points, what is to be expected in these markets as we're in more of a technical traded market right now versus fundamental. So we failed to really break through and extend above that 371 and D's closing down six cents on the day. Soybeans down six and a quarter. We failed at nine dollars. Uh, when you look at the wheat complex, anywhere from two and a half lower in, in Minneapolis, six lower in Kansas City, four lower in Chicago, so pressure really across the board. Uh, when you move to the meat markets, you had live cattle and feeder cattle both higher on the day, live cattle up a buck 35, feeders up actually just over three bucks on one contract, but then you had hog market really struggling with no new news from China, down 310 on your December contracts. So looking at that as a whole, some spreading going on there and really waiting to see export sales probably for hogs to make a defining movement. When you moved outside markets, you did have a lot of strength in crude oil yesterday with all the issues between Saudi Arabia, accusations of Iran being the one behind it, uh, up over seven bucks higher on crude yesterday, now down over three and a half bucks today. So big movers there, everything else in those outside markets also weaker. Moving forward, what we're gonna be watching for grain markets, definitely gonna be export sales, seeing if we could get some big ones here as we really could use one, especially in the corn market and then waiting to see how the rest of this week pans out and hopefully being able to get some more details on the Japan news. I do have to close with the disclaimer, trading futures and option involves risk loss and is not suitable for all producers. This is a solicitation. Have a great day.